Welcome back. All right, so news of the day video for all you fine people for your Wednesday, February the 21st. Wearing Montreal here, the original logo and an old design and everything. Uh, this is one of those Fanatics jerseys I have too, just because uh, it's the only way I was able to get that. I got that through uh, Tricolor Sports, which is the Montreal Canadiens store. Um, somebody was asking where I got the Winnipeg Jets uh, jersey I was wearing the other day too, the, the uh, WASAC one. Uh, that one I got from the Jets team store. Team stores can be a really good way to find stuff that you're not able to find anywhere else. Anyways, starting off now with Johnny Brodzinski and the New York Rangers. Brodzinski's been, been a good story, and the Rangers just made it a better story. He signs a two-year extension with them. It's a one-way contract, so whether he's in the NHL or the AHL, he gets paid the same amount of money. $787,500 per season. So good for Brodzinski. He's been a good fill-in in the bottom six. They reward him appropriately. I think it's a great deal. So, yeah, a uh, good contract extension there for the New York Rangers. Uh, the Montreal Canadiens get Ulanen and Harris back tonight. Uh, Ulanen, good bottom six forward. Harris, good on the blue line. And uh, they'll be playing against Buffalo. So we'll see what that does with that game. If we see a goal from Ulanen, if we see Harris chipping in with, with a hit or two and some good defensive plays, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, Nick Dowd on the other side uh, for, the, for the Washington Capitals. Uh, he has an upper body injury. He's day-to-day, -day, so the Caps not playing today. I assume they're playing tomorrow. I haven't done up tomorrow's board yet. Uh, but yeah, Nick Dowd's going to be out for a short period of time. Doesn't sound like it's going to be a major injury. He did leave during last night's game. Uh, Lomberg has been fined uh, for elbowing uh, Jacob Chikrin last night in the game between Florida and the Ottawa Senators. This way, if you thought the elbow was bad and deserved more, You'll be upset, and if you're like, hey, I didn't think the elbow was that bad, you can be upset too. And if you really want to be upset, find out how much money it cost Lomberg. Not very much. Uh, but yeah, so uh, Lomberg, a physical player. I don't know if it's the first time that he's been fine, but the kind of game that he plays, it's going to happen every now and then. So yeah, um, I don't think he's going to mind that too much. Uh, on the Boston front, uh, Hampus Lindholm, who's not had a fantastic year. He's had some good, good times and some not so great and all that. Uh, but now he's out week to week. I haven't seen whether it's upper body or lower body. It's just undisclosed. They just said, yeah, he's out week to week. Uh, we'll see if there's any updates where we get some more information. But it's the NHL. We probably won't. So Lindholm out week to week. It's going to hurt Boston's blue line. Uh, but they've been able to cobble together uh, a lineup minus Bergeron and Krejci, which is still one of the top teams in the East. So we'll see what they do without Lindholm. Uh Wall. So if you're a Toronto fan and you're like, when's Wall coming back? It's going to be soon. Uh, he has gone to the Marlies on a conditioning stint. So for Wall, a player who is under a lot of pressure, I think being a goaltender for the Toronto Maple Leafs might be the most high pressure job in the National Hockey League. I, I do. I think that being a goaltender in Toronto is probably going to be the most scrutinized job. Just look at what they've gone through with Samsonov. And then every other goaltender that has ever played in Toronto before that. But yeah, so uh, Wool coming back. The good news is Jones has been pretty decent. Samsonov hasn't been bad. And we have the trade deadline coming up. Maybe Martin Jones has enough uh, value right now that if Wool's good to come back, you could trade Jones at the deadline. Uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins have waived Colin White. Uh, we'll see if he clears. He probably does. Uh, there's a whole Pugliarvi discussion out there now, too. Apparently, Pugliarvi may very well end up being a healthy scratch. We've talked about Pugliarvi before. He has a good skill game. He has top six upside, but he doesn't really produce enough for top six. I don't know if his game works as a bottom six forward. So for a coach, you're not getting the kind of play from him you'd like from a bottom six forward. And that may very well be the case for Mike Sullivan. And so we're right back in a very similar discussion in Pittsburgh that we were in in Edmonton about how you get the most out of Yessi Pugliarvi. Uh, Achari, on the other side of things, could return uh, tomorrow versus Montreal. So Noel Achari has been dealing with a concussion, I do believe. Uh, but he was a full participant in practice. It looks like he could very well be returning to the lineup for them tomorrow. And Kyle Dubas, who's always, you know, sort of a front of mind for hockey fans. What's Dubas going to do? It's getting close to the, the, the trade deadline. He's listening on non-core players. So he's, he's not listening on Crosby, Malkin, Latang. I would assume Carlson's part of that core. Outside of that, he may very well be listening. So maybe a team's going to call about Brian Rust. Maybe a team's going to call about the currently injured Jake Gensel. 
Maybe we'll see a move on the blue line. Maybe we'll see some kind of change somewhere else. Uh, but yeah, it sounds like the Pittsburgh Penguins might be willing to sell. But again, notice the, the key word here is listening. Dubas is not shopping anybody. He's just listening. So we'll see if somebody calls him and makes him an offer he cannot refuse. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If, you were, if you're a Pens fan watching this, which player do you most think the Penguins should look at moving? And which one would you like to see them look at acquiring? Let me know your thoughts. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.